Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I made a battery box for my LifePo 12 volt 100 amp hour mini battery. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the battery box I'm going to be using for this project. It's a repurposed one that I'd used once before. It's an inexpensive box made by Atwood. This is the Renology LifePo battery monitor that I'm going to be using for this project. And that's the box that came in. This is the display piece. This is the shunt. And it comes in a little holder and I might use that when I install it. It's got the shielded cable that connects the shunt to the monitor along with your directions, some installation screws, and some positive wiring for this hookup. These are the two other power ports I'm going to be using in this project. And this right here has a cover plate. And what this is, if you open this up, you have a cell phone connector here as well as a USB port and then it has its own separate on off switch and this little cover there and then this is just your standard 12 volt cigarette lighter type and I've got all different types and sizes of spacer screws here that I'll use once I mount everything in the box This is the trolling motor plug I'm going to be using in this project and I like it because it's got a very low profile female receptacle which makes it great for projects where you don't have a lot of space to mount this. And I'll put a video link in the narrative section that talks more about this plug. This is what the monitor looks like from the inside of the lid after I've cut it out and press it in and then flipping it over this is what it looks like on the top and what I'll do is I'll fill any gaps in with some marine goop to waterproof it so the next couple of things I'm going to do is for this USB and cell phone jack all I need to do is drill this small hole to go through this face here because this is going to be a face mounted port and it'll go just like that and then I'll drill a circular hole here so I can drop in the 12 volt cigarette type power port. This is what the shunt looks like when it's installed on the box. I've got all the connections for the shunt to the battery and you can see on the monitor there that everything's working. I have a 100 amp hour battery for this setup. Now it has a pretty good little programming guide in the instructions so I won't go over it right now. But I do want to show you my connections. So down here where you see this B minus here, that terminal there is going to connect directly to the negative terminal of the battery. Then what they call P minus here that's going to be going to the negative connection of whatever your load is, probably your trolling motor. And so that's why there's nothing hooked up to that right now. And then down in here, you have these little screw connectors, and there's two of them, and they're labeled battery plus. You can use either one of them, and you take the positive wiring that was in this kit, and you slide in one in here and then just screw down on one of the connectors to hold it in place and then the other ring terminal goes to the positive side of the battery. Now just a little note, it came with a little bit of solder on the end of it but then it wouldn't go into the connector so I just clipped it off, stripped it and it went right in. Then finally here is the connector that's going to go directly to the back of the monitor sending the signal. So that's basic hookup for this 
and I'll flip over the top of the box when I show you all the other connections I've made. This is an exterior view of the battery box and starting at the top is the battery monitor and then the 12 volt trolling motor plug receptacle. On this side is the dual USB type C charging port. You just open this hatch here and it has a separate on off switch and it powers up. And then right here is just a standard 12 volt power port. This is an interior view of the battery box and this is the dual port charger wiring. Following over is the underside of the battery monitor and the trolling motor plug and that is going over to a 50 amp marine waterproof circuit breaker. Above that is the 12 volt power port and the accessory ports are all wired into separate waterproof fuses and towards the front is where the shunt is mounted and the negative terminal and the reason I have the battery positioned the way it is I wanted the post towards the rear of the box because the front has the accessory ports and that's where all the wiring is so it made it much easier to put this together and then all the wiring does tuck away towards the interior of the box next to the battery so it doesn't get in the way and it keeps everything nice and clean. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.